Welcome back, Wolfpack. Rose here, and the last of Fan Fridays for this week. What we have is Zan, who's being very comical, and it got my attention. So here's his here's his message to me: The end is near. Verlus, the hour is upon us. The Dark One approaches. The Wolfpack must be warned. So his his story is he encountered a Dark Void Smeargle. The Dark One has has landed, and he wants to warn everyone with the terrifying things that can happen to you against one of these bad boys. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. So if you look at this, like, the opening is so unsettling, because, I mean, there's a dog that can paint, and there's a kitty. Like, that's... That, that doesn't seem like something that could be... that should be too terrifying. But let's go and watch the battle anyway. Charizard leads with the drought, Haxorus goes protect, and I'm wondering, like, what's going on here? Ah, just a double scout. I can see that happening just because you don't want Meowstic to land that fake out on you. So that was a good call right there. So far, everything is being played out very well. Smeargle goes with the Protect on the second turn, which is a not nice thing to have. So even though they're going for, like, the double... The double sweep coverage here, Meowstic is still going to tank everything and open up that trick room. That's annoying right there. So, this is what we're talking about. Meowstic survived when it needed to, and it doesn't matter because trick room has happened. So, Meowstic's still going to be the fastest thing on the field. Smeargle is going to be the next fastest thing on the field. It's pretty much. Everything's in motion right now, and it doesn't matter how well you play the, the battle, because you can't stop this right here. You now that, that double protect on the first turn, that was kind of the chance to take out Smeargle, but it doesn't work that way, because Smeargle's going to have a Focus Sash. Smeargle, Smeargle used Protect, Meowstic stay alive long enough to use uh, Trick Room, and that's kind of it. So both Pokemon are asleep. And Charizard gets confused by the swagger and ends up just hitting himself. It This is frustration right here, because if you wake up, it's it's still over. Because you, you have a chance of hitting yourself, and you can't break out of the uh, Smeargle shenanigans. Yeah. Now Charizard was able to wake up. He can't, he can't get out of it. He's already taking a lot of damage. And Smeargle has now put the Haxorus in the position that Haxorus is at low health due to Dark Void, or not, due to Endeavor. So if Haxorus hits himself, he's going to knock himself out to the Smeargle. It, it is one of the most frustrating things you can go up against. So Charizard does snap out of confusion, and this is kind of like the slight chance of being able to knock something out here, but Meowstic's too tanky. And Smeargle got his Focus Sash off. That was the chance, and it didn't happen. So that's some frustration right there. Twisted Dimensions finally come back, and this is where you know is going to use Protect. You know something's going down right here, and you need Noivern to really get that KO. So the opponent outpredicts on the Swagger onto Charizard or something, which I feel was a big mistake. Because now Noivern is confused, hits himself, and Smeargle's ready to put both Pokemon back to sleep. Oh, actually he decides not to. Just goes with the straight up Endeavor, feeling confident. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. That's not good. So now both Pokemon are confused at incredibly low health and just cannot shake the Smeargle. Like, if you look at this, we have two dragons that are, like, the most ferocious things ever. And then we have a cat and a dog that are, like, dainty little dudes that don't really have much power behind them. So Smeargle does go down, but the strategy is already taken its toll. You know, two of your strongest opening Pokemon are already incredibly softened up or knocked out by this point. And you just focus fire down a Smeargle, leaving a Meowstic still open and some incredible follow-up. The other guy, the rest of this guy's team was a mega, whatever, Ma Mawile, that's what it is. This mega Mawile right here, 
and Garchomp. Those are some two heavy follow-up Pokemon to have to deal with after already getting frustrated and crippled by this strategy. So it's just what it's what makes it so strong. Another interesting thing is it looks like the foreign players, like the Japanese, Asian players, they like going to the Mega Mawile instead of the Mega Kangaskhan. I've been seeing a lot more of that from them. And my goodness, this Meowstic is ungodly tanky. Just endures everything so well. So, he sets up the Swagger, and we already know this game's over. It's a 3v1, and it's just Noivern, who's already really low. That's just wrong. That's so wrong. So, you have been warned. You have been warned. Zan, thank you for showing us. He was on the front lines. He put himself out there. He was the sacrifice so we could understand what is going on. And that's 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 the strategy right there. There are chances that you have to like break it out. Like if that I'm trying to figure out what really could have gone down because pretty much Smeargle is going to open up with that Dark Void. Meowstic's going to fake out, and double protect on the first turn is one of the things you can do. But since Smeargle protected it, your best chances were taking out Meowstic. That thing was just too tanky to be able to do it. And yeah, it's, it's frustrating. So, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. What a way to wrap up Fan Fries. And I think that's actually the second loss I've recorded for one of these uh, reviews. So it was also nice just to see that because... If someone's humble enough to get their butt kicked like Xan here and just go, eh, review it, I don't care. I can also incredibly respect that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Hope you guys enjoyed Fan Fridays, and I hope you guys have a nice day.